The Craighead County Emergency Management Department says they've been preparing for this icy weather for a number of days, and they say they are ready. From pre-treating the roads to staying up to date with the latest information in case this weather changes its path. You know, pre-treating roads uh, the best they can with the, the brine solution. Uh, obviously, you can't do that on gravel roads, so the, the, the county road department does what they can on their, on their hard surface roads. Coy says they are staying at the Emergency Operations Center, monitoring the current weather conditions and additional winter weather that is approaching. They are also ready if any assistance request is required. Coy says multiple power and energy companies are also on standby. Our companies are preparing to respond to any outages that occur. Our power companies in, in the whole region have spent a fortune to upgrade their infrastructure, keep vegetation back away from their lines to make it where they're, they're in a much better position now than they were at the ice storm of 2009. Staff is also monitoring 911 calls and reported car wrecks at the dispatch center so they know which roads and streets are slick and have developed ice. Coy is also warning people to only travel if it's necessary. It takes just a split second for that, for that what looks to be water on the road but is actually frozen ice and now you're off in the ditch and or worse. He says the state is looking at deploying the National Guard to the state police headquarters in the region if a city or county needs them. Just in case, you know, they run into the problem that they did some years back where vehicles got stranded on the interstate, uh, these, these guard units would be able to patrol and make sure that's not occurring. Now, Coy says if a tree has fallen in the roadway or in your neighborhood, call your county road department or your local city hall. They will come out and remove it for you. He says only call 911 if a tree has fallen on a home or power line. Sarah Doan, Northeast Arkansas News, Jonesboro.